sort of. Right corner artery comes down. We've got little branches that come off kind of on the side. These are just referred to as the marginal branches. Right coronary artery continues around and ends up descending down into the posterior interventricular sulcus as the posterior interventricular artery there. So that's supplying blood to right ventricle, right atrium as well, and to the posterior wall of the right ventricle. Okay. To the left side, left coronary artery comes off here. Actually, it's coming off way up under there. Goes behind the pulmonary trunk, comes out here. At this point, right at the tip of the auricle, on the left auricle, it's going to split into an anterior interventricular branch and a circumflex branch coming around this way. Okay. So the anterior interventricular branch is going to supply primarily the left ventricle. Some small branches are going to go off and get to the right as well. And then as it comes around this way, we're going to have this coming all the way around. It's going to come into the posterior arteries here. And it's going to continue around and we're going to end up feeding back into that same one. So this forms arteries that supply the same area referred to as anastomoses. So there's lots of anastomoses in the heart because if we got a blockage here, you can still get blood to that area through the other route. So it just kind of doubles, it's a backup with that. So once we have blood to all the ventricles in the atria, then we gotta get it back. So on the anterior side, all of these little tributaries here are gonna come into the great cardiac vein that's going to come through here. We're going to pick up more from these little ones on the posterior cardiac vein here. It's going to dump into this enlarged vein, which is the coronary sinus. Coronary sinus is also going to pick up blood from the right ventricle and atrium through the small cardiac vein, through the middle cardiac vein, through the posterior cardiac veins. All comes back into the coronary sinus. Coronary sinus then has an opening into the into the right atrium. So we should have a hole back here, which this one really doesn't have one, but we'd have a hole back here for the coronary sinus. That one has one, I think. Yep. So that'd be the coronary sinus opening into the right atrium. Small, middle, posterior. Great cardiac vein, posterior cardiac vein, middle, middle cardiac vein, small. small, all go into the coronary sinus. And then that goes into the right atrium. Right atrium. Can now name everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Ascending aorta, arch of the aorta, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, left subclavian, ligamentum arteriosum, pulmonary trunk, left pulmonary arteries, right pulmonary arteries going off this way, pulmonary veins, coming in here, these would be the left pulmonary veins right pulmonary veins here. So those are going into the left atrium, which is this big chamber. You can actually see the pulmonary veins on the left side way back in there. From the left atrium, through the bicuspid here, or the mitral, or the left atrioventricular valve, into the left ventricle, back up through the aortic valve, which then puts you back into the ascending trunk here goes through systemic circulation, comes back, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and through the coronary sinus. All of that empties into right atrium. And on the wall of the right atrium, you can see the pectinate muscles and the, the bar, which was the crista terminalis. So that's all, all the space, right atrium. Through the tricuspid valve, this one actually has three flaps that you can see. Yep. 
<laughs> Tricuspid valve into the right ventricle with the little ridges which are the trabeculae carniae. The areas where the chordae tendini attach are the papillary muscles. When the ventricle contracts then, blood is forced this way up through the pulmonic valves or the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk, which is just an artery. And then again leaving the left pulmonary artery there and right pulmonary artery coming over here. And then just to complete, what are these things? Trachea. Trachea and what's right behind the trachea? So this is all going through the mediastinum. Esophagus? Yep. All right. Yep. That'd be it. Apex down here. Base. Of coronary sinus where all of these, sorry, coronary sulcus, where all of these blood vessels separate between ventricle and atria. Anterior interventricular sulcus with the great cardiac vein and the anterior interventricular branch. Posterior interventricular sulcus with the middle cardiac vein and the posterior interventricular branch of the arteries. Can you say it again with posterior interventricular branch? Posterior interventricular branch is this branch coming down right here. The red one, right? The red one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep.